and uh, and I'm really just excited that we're here right now uh, talking about the Dolphins, your Dolphins, your guys' Dolphins. Now, they beat the Patriots. Let's get, let's fast forward. I jumped a little bit. Let's go to the, this NFL right now in the 2020 season. Now, it's just a coincidence that you guys are here right now after the Dolphins eliminated the Patriots from playoff contention. The last time the Patriots were eliminated from playoff contention was in 2008, which is the year that you guys unveiled the Wildcat and dethroned the Patriots. So it's just all, like I said, it's all tying together. All these different tentacles are tying together. Um, What really is your standout memory from that run that season, other than the Wildcat? Because we know that's pretty much the most important thing ever. Man, I I think for me, it's just that season was fun. Like we were having a good time, you know, and I think that's what it equates to on every successful team I've been on. Like the guys have enjoyed each other. You know, we really hung out, you know, and even after the practice, you know, guys weren't so quick to get out the locker room. Like we stayed, hung around, played cars, you know, joked and laughed. Guys hung out outside of, you know, the practice facility. And so I think that made a big difference. And so in 2008, obviously, you know, what we experienced in 2007 going one to 15, you know, that wasn't fun. And so it's easy to go into an off season where you feel like you need to work hard when you're coming off a one and 15 season, you know, for me in 2007, I only played in seven games. And so, you know, part of that was I tore my ACL and in the back of my mind, I was thinking, you know, at the time I tore my ACL, I was leading the league in rushing all purpose yards, touchdowns and all of that. And then I go down to who? New England. Like we, they get an interception. I'm going to make a tackle and then I tear my ACL. And so, you know, all of that stuff was in the back of my mind. And so the next season, you know, going one and 15 where Greg saved the, saved the day yes, with the touchdown, <laughs> um, you know, and got that over <laughs> off of us. Um, it felt good, man. But, you know, I think going into that 2008 season, we didn't have anything to be, you know, uh, over our heads about. It's like, hey, man, we were one to 15 last year and we all got to get better. And so, you know, I think that was the reality of it. And so we really put in a lot of work in the off season, but we had fun. Like it brought us back to reality of why we started playing this game and we enjoyed it. And, you know, we turned it around. We moved the um, the hyphen over a little bit and it was, you know, from one to 15 to 11 and five. So, you know, oh, I, I, like I think <laughs> I think that that, you know, I think that was a big part of it. Like everybody was willing to put in the work. We didn't have any egos and everybody enjoyed it. Two, two, two things to know. One is that's the biggest turnaround in NFL history. So my, I take a lot of pride in it. I'm sure Ronnie does too, moving sure, that hyphen sure. over. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the other one, Ronnie, I didn't know this about you, but I tore my ACL on an interception against the Patriots trying to make an interception, which makes me hate the Patriots even more. Yeah, that's what I got that deep down. And it was it was an interception where they didn't even have to bring the ball. They was wearing us out. It was an interception in the end zone. And I'm uh, just thinking the guy's going to take a knee. He comes out. And lo and behold, I tear my ACL. So, yeah, I had a vendetta against them. Yeah, uh, good for I'm, you. Well, you didn't miss yeah. much the rest of that year, as you know. <laughs> hey, man, I missed the celebration. That I, I'm sitting home. I'm looking. At, I'm thinking about it right now. I'm watching the TV. I rehab that morning. And when you scored the celebration and I was looking at all the like people making comments like, Oh, you would have thought they won a Super Bowl, but they don't understand what it felt like to get that over. Cause I'm like, man, I'm not even in the game, but just to say that we didn't go. Oh, and 16, man, that yep. felt good. It 